Generative AI Strategic Intelligence System GSIS, is an innovative agentic solution which not only retrieves the required data from user queries, but also provides key insights and actionable recommendations through advanced causal analysis. And I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of Capgemini's GenAI Strategic Intelligence System, GSIS. GSIS is a platform that uses AI agents to automatically analyze live data from your core systems like finance or supply chain and turn that into real-time insights and actionable recommendations. Think of it as a digital analyst that works 24-7 across your data, helping you spot issues early, understand what's driving them, and know exactly what to do next. The solution focuses on four domains, finance, supply chain, IT operations, and revenue growth management. And related to these, but with specific focal area, we also have the topics of sustainability and trade shield, which focuses on how to manage all the uncertainty related to tariffs and such. If I look at the finance section here, it'll already show you some few quick questions you can ask, questions you might ask every day related to cash flow or profit margins. But before clicking on one of those, I'll also show you that the system has some key metrics already reported here that will give you some insight into your core business operations, how you're doing. And based on some analysis already done, you can see the latest update was two hours ago. It's giving them some AI recommended action how to improve certain things. Finally, there's financial scenario simulators um, and also data integration status. The data integration status is interesting because it connects directly to your existing platforms, but there's no need to move the data or build new dashboards. It works within your current environments to help you make better, faster decisions. And it then virtualizes the data, almost like takes a Polaroid picture of the data without needing to move it. So let's get to the very top here. Let's say we have questions about our cash flow position. It's weakened. So this is one of the quick questions. And I'll see what the system says. And already in that time that we were looking at it, it gathered the data analyzed it and gave us an answer. So here you see the answer. The operating cash flow declined by 12%. Why did it decline? So it gives you the reasons why did this happen? And it's giving you some recommended action. How can you improve it? So accelerating receivables collection, refining demand planning models, or restructuring short-term debt. Now, let's look at a different area. Let's look at the supply chain space. Again, here we also see some key metrics. It's also already giving us some detailed recommended actions. But let's say I'm worried about port disruptions on my supply chain. So I'm going to ask a question, how is port congestion impacting me? Same thing, it goes to different systems, gets the data, cleans it up, understands it, and then gives you the answer. The answer here is already, it's adding 9.3 days to standard lead times. Uh, why is this happening? And it's being caused specifically by the LA Long Beach ports, which handle 42% of incoming materials. Interestingly, here are the recommendations. How can I overcome this? How can I deal with this? And then here are the recommendations are increased lead time buffers for the West Coast, shift 30% of non-urgent good to East Coast ports, and reserve emergency air freight capacity. So it's very prescriptive. Yes, this is the uh, situation. Uh, this is the impact, and how can I deal with it? Finally, let me show you one example related to Trade Shield. So this is focused on USMCA compliance, United States, Mexico, Canada agreement on dealing with tariffs. And specifically, if it falls under the USMCA, you're exempt from tariffs, you don't need to pay it. But the question is, how can I make sure I'm exempt from these tariffs? So it can be very SKU specific. So I've trained it on a question here related to SKU 5438, which is a water pump, which is manufactured in Monterey but the impeller is cast in China. Can this qualify for USMCA? Again, gets the data, analyzes it, and the response, it can potentially qualify for USMCA using a Chinese cast impeller, but requires careful compliance strategy because the impeller is a non-originating product. How can you do it? You have two qualification paths, recast the impeller in Mexico or source it from the US or use the net cost method to demonstrate you meet the regional value content thresholds, which require at least 60% of North American content. So what you see here, it's being very prescriptive in terms of telling you what to do to make sure you meet that regional value content so you can be exempt from tariffs and don't pay them at all. So if I summarize it, GSIS is really that business-focused solution 
to help you address the questions related to your core business KPIs and how can I improve a certain situation. And it then gets the data, has agents getting the data from a number of different systems, cleaning it, matching it, calculating some core KPIs, using LLMs to understand what happened, why did it happen, what is going to happen, and then give you that prescriptive answer. Thank you very much.